you know, a lot of people kind of resonated so much like this girl's just having the time of her life. She's having the best time in the valley. I was like, you know, their virtual BFF like that, just like that fun, like party girl who's going out. She's doing this. She's just out and about. Hi, my name is Aisha Beasley, and this is Foodie Chronicles. I grew up in Tucson, Arizona, so I am an Arizona native. So I've always loved the creative field. Um, I started um, a blog over 10 years ago on Tumblr. When I created my Instagram in 2017, I just started kind of just posting, doing my thing on social media. And I started getting brands reaching out to me. And then it kind of transitioned to like this part-time influencer thing when I started to get a few paid um, partnerships and it was supplementing my full-time income. And so I was like, okay, maybe this is possible to some day make this a full-time thing. I posted a video in front of Little Anthony's. Little Anthony's is like a 50s diner in Tucson. Super cute, super aesthetic, and like that was my vibe. I would go out to places and take photos in front of like cool spots I liked. So I filmed these clips back in 2019, and when COVID hit and we had TikTok and all of that like really pop off, I just made a random video in front of Little Anthony's in like this little cute outfit video went pretty viral and it just started this whole new thing for me like with restaurants and, and so I just like created this like cool little intro to like this Arizona places because I was like okay this could just be like a little series like on top of the other stuff I'm doing and so I created the intro and Arizona places took off and it kind of became the whole focus of my account and it became part of my identity. So for Zoo and Pocha, um, I've been kind of eyeing that restaurant for quite some time and I know they've recently opened this year and I just really, from you know, other videos I saw and from their social media, I just instantly knew that this would be a match for me. I also love Korean food, <laughs> so I was like, I am in for this. So for this particular um, collaboration, I did initiate it. I did reach out, um, and you know, we we talked via DM, and you know, we we kind of set it, we set up a hosted experience. Some of these things don't happen like that. It's like, you know, they're more than willing to welcome me in, especially because if they know I'm gonna be, you know, filming and stuff. And, and sometimes I have to still pay. Other times they're like, yeah, awesome. You know, we'd love to host you for, you know, exchange for social media, you know, shout out, video. And so for this particular restaurant, it was, you know, doing a video for um, Instagram and TikTok. And, you know, typically with hosted experiences, I I like to try as much as I can. So I try, you know, multiple drinks and taste tests because I feel like that's the best way to kind of get a, a better opinion and kind of get a gist for the restaurant. I definitely think that a lot of the general public thinks that you can have a viral post and be able to quit your job or get paid to do this full time. And it's just not overnight for 99% of people. It's not about going viral, it's what you do after you go viral because you can have that viral video and then that's it, you know, and that's that. But you have to continue to build trust and build that, and build that audience and build a loyal audience that's gonna come back to your content. At the end of the day, you have to continue to create and come up with, with concepts and 
you know, film in order to keep an audience, in order to keep a social presence. If I stop filming for a year, that can affect my brand, that could affect opportunities, that can affect me making money. So you have to constantly work. And, you know, I always like to say, you know, I left my nine to five to work 24 seven. 